Hello, and welcome to Tooth Talk with D. If I have not already told you guys, Happy New Year. If I have already told you guys, then I won't be saying it anymore this year. Um, but welcome to Tooth Talk with D. And I just want to say thank you to um, each and every subscriber. I finally made it to the 1,000 subscriber mark. So congratulations to us, y'all. On my day ones, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, And I really do appreciate y'all. I really, really do. Um, Anybody that does, you know, things like voiceovers and editing and, and things like that be sure you hit me up i'm looking for that um my email is desiree7 at gmail.com and of course i think you guys can hit me up right here on my channel to talk with you now let's get right into the tea so you know i was just first of all yes I, I I am on the floor. I'm on the floor. Um, I've just worked 24 hours. I got down here with my laptop is right here. With, oh my, it was just ash. Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. And then I have this pillow that I'm laying with for my sister. This is a really cute pillow. But I was sitting right here and I was trying to. Um, get some stuff done and see if I was gonna, you know, how we was gonna do things today. If I was gonna go live with y'all, if I was going to, um, you know, just do the video as is because I just want to talk about some things. First of all, um, I was sitting here and I was going over some things and looking when I noticed, I was like, wow, you know, um, you would think. That the Latrus are over and done with and they're done talking about it. But you know, Mr. Latrus, he he heavy on the petty. Mr. Latrus is heavy on the petty. Now, you know, he can put some stuff down his pants and made it look like his um I was gonna say precious jewels, but you know, somebody already said it was a Vienna sausage, but I mean, he didn't put something in his pants to make his thing. Because yesterday, he had on some pants. And we didn't see that thing lanking. It, it wasn't really dangling on, you know, while he was cooking pasta and, and, and frying chicken wings, eating watermelon and making spaghetti. You know, the thing wasn't doing all that that day he had the yellow pants on. So, you know, I was, I was kind of just wondering... You know, why would you even do or make a video like that? Why would you even, um, because that could not have been a skit. You know, most men I know, they don't play, they're not going to even joke or play about their manhood like that in that way. And I, it was just weird of him to do that. But hey, to each his own. I mean, meanwhile, you got Brianna being picked up in a Rolls Royce this morning. She said she's, she's got a big deal. She's getting ready to go sign. Um, she can't, you know, talk about it. She signed the NDA, which we know what that is. And she can't talk about it. So, I mean, we don't know. But uh, as far as Mr. Latrue, Mr. Hampton, he's saying that he hasn't been with a woman in, well, we know none this year. You know, this year was just, just got here. This year has been here all of, you know, a couple of weeks. Uh, but he, I guess he's saying from the time that him and his ex-wife separated, um, uh, and I don't know if we know if the divorce is finalized or not, but we definitely know they've been separated for quite some time, and he's saying that he's not had no nookie. So, um, you know, he said he's not been with a woman, he's not been intimate with a woman, he says he, he will never get married again, he doesn't want to get married again, um, but the way he posts a lot of women on his social media and uh and i understand it's promoting i do understand it's promoting but i think he jumped kind of quick to be posting so many women right after a six-year marriage do i think he's hurt most definitely i totally agree that he's hurt i can see it all in his face that he's hurt um 
I think that she was hurt for quite some time, but she had a lot of other things to distract her from the hurt because she really wanted to move on. I really think this situation was just her way to get out of the relationship. You know, I think it was kind of all good, but she, for whatever reason, and you know, we women, we get tired of our men in the spur of a moment. We be like, ah, get out. No, mm -mm. I don't want you to know. In a minute, in a minute. And we have those owning our feelings in a relationship with our men, with our spouse, um, with our boyfriend, with our significant other. You just get in those moments where you just don't want to be bothered with this person no more. You know, I don't care if you work 24 hours a day. You need to work 48 hours a day. You know, it gets that kind of bad. And I think that we as women, we get so fed up to where we just throw, we be like, throw the whole dude away. You know, I think she just got so fed up to a point. And, I mean, she was pushed to that, you know, due to the control and due to the narcissism. You know, all of that uh, behavior that was going around in the home. I believe she just got sick and tired to a point to where she used that moment to escape. There have been other times where they've argued, not gotten along. It's been on video, or they'll say it's a skit. You know, her and um, allegations with you know another famous rapper that's really famous. Um, but you know, it stood the test of time. The relationship did, but this this time, you know, just having this time. Mm, Miss Brianna wasn't feeling it. Your girl Brianna wasn't feeling it. And she left. And she's doing well for herself. And um, I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to see what she has in store. We see Mr. The Truth is still, you know, with the antic of he's not Tupac. He looks like Tupac. He doesn't look like Tupac. Okay. I don't even know what's up with that. Uh, but it, let's just keep him uplifted, up, uplifting. The he said he has a book, How to Be Better in Bed, How to Be Consistently Good in Bed. Whew. Child, Jesus Christ. I don't have my teacup over here beside me, and I don't feel like getting up. And the kids ain't home, ain't nobody home. I can't tell nobody to get up and walk three feet right there. Pass me my teacup. Because how to be consistently good in bed? How would you know? Maybe you do know. Maybe you do know. Maybe you do know. The question is, how do we know? Because you don't apparently know a goddamn thing. How we know you know? Mm -hmm. But he said his his book is uh, the number two bestseller on Amazon. So um, you guys go check it out and come back and tell me if it was or if it wasn't. Let me know, you know. Uh, but uh, anywho, I just came on here because um, I just wanted to touch bases with everybody, get into a little of truth tea. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on where she went in the Rose Royce. Uh, earlier today I should know by tonight I know I've not been dropping the videos so often because um, you guys have been subscribing so I'll save some bigger news for later but thank you guys to the subscribers if you haven't already make sure you hit the, sub the subscribe button and um, Maybe we'll do a live later, but thank you so much for tuning in with Two Talk with D.